everybody. What is up? It is Mama Lama AG, and thanks for tuning in to this very fun All My Dolls video. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have, in no particular order, is my Samantha doll. She's Pleasant Company from 1991. She is my first doll. And as a child, she was the only Pleasant Company slash American Girl doll um, that I received. And then I didn't start collecting again until my youngest was born in 2008 and we can collect together. But I absolutely love my Sam. Next up is Amelia Claire. She's one of the new Truly Me dolls. Gorgeous, long, curly, red hair, green eyes, classic mold. She is a beauty in my collection. And here we have Girl of the Year Lila. My collection, her name is Esme. And what can I say? She is gorgeous. Josefina mold, amber color eyes, such a beauty. Next, we have Truly Me number 89, Oasa, in my collection. Josefina mold, medium skin tone, hazel eyes, and that gorgeous electric and brown hair. Next is Girl of the Year 2022, Corinne, in my collection. Her name is Isold, and she is the only doll that I have two of. So gorgeous. Here is Corinne number two, also Elowin in my collection. This had been my youngest whenever they were collecting, and she's dressed up as Wednesday Adams from the show Wednesday. We just love watching that together. Here's McKenna Brooks, Girl of the Year 2012, and this is the very first American Girl doll that my youngest had received and they've now outgrown their collection so McKenna is going to be part of mine and welcome Hadley Rose she is a new truly me 118 and I just love her curtain bangs her long straight brown hair her jaws face small medium skin so beautiful Next up, we have Enola. She is another Truly Me girly. Nenea face mold, fair skin tone. Look at that gorgeous hair, hazel eyes. I just love her. Next up, we have Nikki Hoffman in my collection. Her name is Alexandra, or Alex for short. And she is totally in her grunge era. Um, this is the Y2K doll from American Girl, but in my collection, she is a true 90s girly. She is rocking that grunge look for sure. I just absolutely love her. She's skater vibes, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Red Hot Chili Peppers, the whole thing. Hey, Alex. Here we have Brooklyn. She is a CYO Addy Mold. Love her with the tight, short curls. She is my city girl. She wears glasses, love art, graffiti, the whole thing. Next up, we have Girl of the Year 2020, Joss Kendrick, or in my collection, Marley. She is semi-custom with molly gray eyes and freckles. I absolutely love her. She is digging the still the Visco vibes. Uh, she's my surfer girl. She's just very Californian beach uh, ray of sunshine. Hey, Marley. Next up is my second CYO, Walayla, and she is a Native American. She is the Kaya mold. Whenever they came out with this in the CYO line, I had to create her immediately. She's the dark skin tone, gorgeous green eyes, long black hair, and I absolutely love her. She hangs out with my Kaya. Speaking of Kaya, here she is. I absolutely love her. She's so sweet and precious. I wish American Girl would come out with more in her collection and pay attention more to her because she is definitely deserving. I love Kaya. Let's say hello to Nenea. She is a historical with American Girl, but a modern girly in my collection. And I simply love her. She is so unique. I love her face mold. I love her hair. Hey, Nenea. Then we have another girl of the year, I think 2013, Miss Sage Copeland. And this is my daughter's doll. She got her when we went to New York the year she was out. And she is just a classic. I love, love Sage. 
Next up, we have Greer, also known as Yvette Peters. She is a now retired World by Us character. I absolutely think that she is gorgeous and a very versatile doll. She has the Josefina face mold, but she has beautiful gray eyes, a different freckle pattern, and can we talk about how gorgeous her wig is? She's absolutely stunning. And of course, Cecile, another historical character. I absolutely love her in her collection. I was so sad to see her retire. She was very short-lived, and I just absolutely love her. She is stunning. And last but certainly not least is Miss Claudie, another amazing historical character. I think American Girl absolutely needs to add to her collection and needs to tell more of her story because there are more stories to be told of Claudie. I absolutely, absolutely love her. Thank you so much for tuning in to check out all 19 of my American Girl dolls. I am expecting one more at least in the mail coming in sometime this week or next. I can't wait to share with you. I am just in love with my girlies and I never imagined my collection getting so large, but I am so happy it, it does. It surrounds me with joy and happiness. And from here on out, who knows where the collection's going to go. But as always, thanks for watching.